You guys already know what time it is. She only she stay them the type of people I hate. Who's real? Who's not? But he's not. All right, all right. You guys already know what that song means, what that music means. I have someone that I'm about to go extremely hard on for whatever reason or another. This person has completely fucking offended me and or made my uh, anxiety towards stupid people skyrocket, <laughs> say the least. So, I got sent the link the other day, and it was about a young lady who looked like this oh, on her fucking blog, um, and was basically saying that she'd rather crack be legalized than gay marriage. Hold on. I'm going surgeon gloves in here. No. Make sure the thing's on. All right. All right, boo-boo. Let me show you how to give a, a real, a do a real blog, a structured blog with some type of structure behind it and some type of points that are actually valid for something other than your stupid fucking drunk 4 a.m. fucking beliefs. I wrote a list. That way, I can just, okay. First of all, your advice is not to be taken seriously, being that you looked like the crackhead you were talking about. Clearly, people commented and told the girl that she looked like the crackhead she was referring to because in her detail, and I will link, I will link Little Miss uh, Captain Save a Hose video to this one in her details over there. It uh, very politely says that I was, it was five in the morning and I'm not a crackhead. Okay, bitch, if you have to explain yourself, well, you already know because you fix it. Okay, hallelujah. Anyway, um, but yeah, you look, she looked like a crackhead in her blog. Therefore, you have no credibility to give an opinion. It may be early, but I don't look like a crackhead. Anyway, um, her reason for, she's saying that gay marriage should not be legal because it, it's not like structured. There's no foundation behind it and it's not going to go anywhere. But then she's saying that she'd rather crack be legal. What fucking structure is there behind crack being legal? So bitch, basically you want the world to be overran by crackheads rather than be surrounded by fucking gay people is what you're trying to say. You want people breaking in your house and stealing your shit, stealing your food, stealing your TVs, stealing your computers, just gone. Just that fast. That's how fast your shit be gone when there's crackheads around. I know. <laughs> I've had a crackhead steal from me before. Okay? Like, seriously? That was the most ignorant shit I've heard anybody say on YouTube. Ever. Even more ignorant than the bitch who claims she's an ex-gay. I'd rather watch her ten times than watch this stupid bitch again one more time. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather that crack be legal because there's just, there's no, like, there's nothing that you can do with gay marriage. Bitch, the world is overpopulated any fucking way. You think we need 10,000 more, millions more fucking kids running around? You got a bunch of damn kids at adoption agencies that haven't even been adopted. You've got people that have twins, triplets, one, two families. They all on fucking welfare. They can't pay to feed these fucking kids anyway. Bitch, we don't need a bunch of goddamn people just... And then, who gets married to breed, bitch? People don't get married to breed. They get married because they're in love. Family, money, and happiness come with that, you ignorant, stupid hoe. But... You don't get married to breed. 
sound like a bitch sounds like she needs to own a pet store. Let's talk about why crack is illegal. It's illegal because it's deadly. It's illegal because you could possibly blow yourself and or your house up when you're making it. It's illegal because it makes people completely out of touch with their inhibitions. It's illegal because it fucking kills people. It's illegal because it kills people. Being gay doesn't kill people. <laughs> God, how ignorant. Then she turns around and says that the reason she doesn't want gay marriage to be legal is because it's a waste of her life. I'm not even sure how her tax dollars are relevant to anything that she was even talking about. But gay people pay tax dollars too. We're not exempt. We have to pay the same things you all do. We shit the same way you do. I have a menstrual cycle the same way you do. I comb my hair the same way you do. I probably listen to the same music you do. I probably even drink that shit that had you drunk in your blog the same way that you do. Whatever it was, strong as hell, whatever it was, she looked crazy. So, while we're on the Bible and politics and all that, since she wanted to bring that into it, um, and, and gay marriage shouldn't be legal because of its clash with the Bible. And she said because more or less, not even solas with the Bible, because because of its clash with, with what the Constitution says. Hold on. This is how I felt. This is how I fucking felt when that dumb hoe said it. Oh, someone turned the light on. Is anyone up there? Because um, last time I checked, there was a little thing called DOMA going on. And um, it's called the Defense of Marriage Act. Um, Little Miss Drunky Pants, and um, it's basically being overturned because, according to the Constitution, the same Constitution that you were referring to, that you so know so nothing about, obviously, you cannot make a rule based off discrimination. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, so that throws your whole theory out of the fucking window about the Constitution being anti, so anti-gay, but it's, I mean, yeah, it is, but they're trying to change it, so that's just you and your dumb ass on YouTube at five in the morning with the issue, um, you know, the government is the government, period, what they say goes, regardless of if you got up on YouTube with your one SAT word or not, it didn't even sound like a real word, but I think it may have been the one SAT word you learned before you got on YouTube. Um, you know, your opinion doesn't fucking matter, more or less. Say what you want, but the government is the government. They're going to do what's right. And our president's going to do what's right. I know some of you are going to hate that. Hate on it, bitches. I don't care. I'm tired. I'm so tired of people talking about gay people. Like, get over it. <laughs> Look, get over it. <laughs> Um, let's see. I mean, I wrote down so much about the stupid girl. I could just pick and choose for 30, 40 minutes. I want to talk about her stupid ass. Um, yeah. Basically, though, the, the girl's video was just totally unstructured. There was nothing behind any of her arguments. It was just blank arguments. I think that gay people are terrible and that crack should be legalized because... It wouldn't be as bad as gay people being together. Okay, bitch, whatever. You're ignorant. That was ignorant for you to even say. Whether you're gay or straight, nobody wants a bunch of damn crackheads running around. So, that was just on a 1 to 10. That was 36 and ignorant whole scale. You know? I'm tired of people getting on YouTube and making blogs about nothingness. It's stupid. Flooding your fucking... Anyway. <laughs> That's all I have to say about Becky from down the street. I don't have anything else to say about her right now, but please watch her video. Leave her a comment. Leave her something. Pray, pray for her because she needs guidance. The, the, the poor girl is very misguided. So, pray for that girl. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.